As a music producer, if your tracks feel overly digital or flat, lacking life or energy, the solution to that could be as simple as adding warmth. Just listen to this, a mix without any warmth to it. Then compare it to the same mix with a bit of warmth added to it. difference is night and day in it. There are many ways of adding warmth to a track, but today we are only gonna talk about one of many and that is saturation. Saturation basically means adding of harmonic frequencies to your music. So what does that mean? That means if you play the note at any frequency, saturation would apply additional frequencies above that note and it does the same thing below the original note. This is actually why it's recommended to do subtractive EQ after saturation. That way you aren't cutting away frequencies that you are about to add back in regardless. What really adds an interesting dimension is selecting the right saturation plugins and their flavors. There are tons of different saturation flavors and plugins out there and part of finding or developing your sound as an artist is likely going to go hand in hand with finding the types of saturation that you love and the types of saturation that sound great to your ears. Just so you know, adding saturation to your songs isn't the only way to add warmth to your songs. There are other techniques as well like compression, distortion, layering sounds etc. Which we'll be covering in our future videos which will be dropping every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. So you better stay tuned by subscribing and pressing that bell icon. I'll see you in the next one.